Hey, I'm Steve Holman. I was the editor in chief of Iron Man magazine for 27 years under Jean Bailick, the publisher, and Michael Nevia, the photographer, was also one of the owners. And um, being in my position, I saw so much BS come through our pages. But that was Iron Man. I mean, we were an open forum. That's how Perry Rader started the magazine. He had the magazine for 50 years, and he it was an open forum for people to basically write in and say, this is what I think is the right way to train. This is how I do it. This is how I train people to do it. And it works. And we would print things like that. We tried to balance it with sports medicine columns and, you know, feature articles that were well-researched and Doug's articles fell into that, obviously. <clears throat> but that is how so much misinformation gets put out to the public. And now you have social media. It's like a hundred times worse. It's not just magazines, it's Instagram, it's Facebook, you know, it's all of that stuff. People are doing YouTube videos of really dangerous stuff. I mean, Doug brought up the point about preacher curls and how dangerous they can be. Oh man, people are doing preacher curls and, you know, popping their bicep. And it's just really sad. I see videos all the time on the internet of people damaging themselves with exercises. I saw a guy doing a heavy squat the other day and I think his knees buckled and it's, wow, I just had to turn it off, it was so scary. So the, after reading Doug's book, that really opened my eyes as to why. I mean, just because I think the quads get like 30% of the resistance, maybe, if you're lucky, if you're doing the, the squat correctly, the back squat. Um, you know, the sissy squat is so much better, so much safer, don't need a lot of weight. And I mean, a lot of things are that way. The, um, the uh, side, the incline side raise, lateral raise for your delts, the string curve is perfect. I love that exercise. I mean, I, I called it a stretch exercise for the delt because it puts your shoulder down at the bottom in the stretch position, and then you lose resistance at the top, of course, which is how the string curve is supposed to supposed to be, but um, lateral raises never did it for me. They always felt too heavy at the top and that's exactly why they're bad. And people don't understand that, I don't think. I don't think they understand the strength curve. I don't think they understand range of motion. And uh, I think he's doing a really a great service to resistance training just because of uh, analyzing the exercises, telling people the exact exercise to do for each body part. And it's done tremendous things for my workouts. I mean, I work out three days a week or 35 minutes of workout and I've made some of the best gains. Can't say of my life because I'm 62 years old, but you know, for my age, I, I am completely satisfied with my, with my muscle gains and how I look. In fact, I was shocked after I'd used your Doug's exercises for, you know, a year. And to be honest, I add other exercises too, but not many. And um, it, the gains have been incredible. I mean.